Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would share with you some products that I have been enjoying using. Um, I have some products that I have pulled out of my stash, so to speak, that I've been have had for a while that I've been pulling out and been using. And I have some products that are new that I have purchased that I wanted to share with you. Oh, there it is. Thought I forgot something. And then I have a couple of products that were sent to me for review that I have um, been really, really, really enjoying. <clears throat> so, and of course, as soon as I start talking, I get a frog. And then at the end of the video, I thought I would just do a little um, short life update of <clears throat> why I haven't been making <clears throat> as many videos and kind of why I've been a little bit gone. So anyway, <clears throat> let me get a drink. Oh, Lord. The first product that I want to talk about was sent to me from Avon through Octoly. And um, Avon has really been stepping up their game if you're not been following Avon. Um, but they have started carrying some Korean products. And one of them is from the brand, um, oh gosh, now I already forgot. The body, the face shop, the face shop, right? The face shop. And I just read this. It's made in Korea. Yeah, the face shop right here. But anyways, the Tone Up Primer. Um, these popped up on my free store and I wanted to apply for the lavender one because I really enjoy using a lavender colored primer on my skin. I think it really works really well with um, getting rid of the sallowness on my face. I have a couple other ones that I use. One is this one from Becca. This one is a little thin. Um, it really doesn't do a whole lot as far as covering up the sallowness. And then I have this one here from, um, I think it's, I don't know what brand, um, a Tude House. And it's the Fix and Fix Primer. And it's called the Tone Up and it's in the lavender. This one's a little bit thicker. So I have one that's a little bit too thin, then I have one that's a little bit too thick. Well, this one's right in between. This one's kind of like Goldilocks. This one's like just right. <laughs> and that's why I like it so much um, because it's in between those two and it's like what I've been looking for. It's just perfect. And it has a little pump, so it's really easy to get out and to pump out. Um, you just shake it up a little bit. It just takes one pump to do the whole face covers it up. Um, it dries really good. The only thing that I would tweak about it is it is a little bit heavy on the fragrance. Um, I like the smell of it, but if you are opposed to fragrance, you may not, you may not like it for that reason, but I like it. Um, let me read you some of the talking points of it that it says it does. Um, it's a color correcting tone up primer that hydrates and camouflage minor imperfections, leaving skin prepped and ready for foundation, corrects yellowish undertones, making it the choice for sallow skin. Color correcting instantly hydrates, brightens complexion, lengthens makeup wear. And I would um, agree with all of that. Um, have no issues with any of those claims. Uh, revise and brightens the skin tone, making it, oh, that's the pink one. But there's different colors. Um, I know they have a lavender, a pink, a green. What was the other color that they had? A mint. And then there was a pearl one. Anyway, that is available. And it's around $23, I think, is the, the price point. Um, there will be a link for this product down in my description box that I have to put. But there will also, there's always in my description box a link to um, Annie. She is an Avon rep and she does an outstanding job. She has a YouTube channel where she talks about 
all of the different Avon products. Um, she also has a Facebook group, Avon Facebook group. So her link is always in my description box. So if you need an Avon lady, even though she may not live in your state, she may not live near to you, she has an e-store and you can always contact her. Anyway, I really do like this. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna try and insert a picture. I tried to take a picture after I had just applied it onto my face, but it didn't really turn out too good. But I do have it on underneath my foundation. But here's a picture, or uh, there's a swatch of it. I haven't done a video in so long. I'm actually kind of nervous sitting here talking to you guys, gosh. But here's what it looks like right there. It's kind of swatched on my skin there. <clears throat> And then when you rub it all in, it just you know goes right into the skin and then just creates a really pretty canvas for um, your foundation. And I really do enjoy that. And speaking of foundation, I purchased a new foundation, even though I said I was going to use up some of my foundations before I got a new foundation. But I really, really wanted to try this one. And it's from the drugstore and it's one of the cheaper drugstore brands. Gosh, can you believe how much drugstore makeup has gotten to be lower well, i don't understand it but it's from wet and wild and it's the um, photo focus um, foundation in the dewy the dewy finish not not the original one and i got it in the color <sighs> gotta have my glasses rose ivory which is called light cool but anyway i got mine at um Walgreens. I went to Walmart, but Walmart didn't carry as many colors as what Walgreens does. So I keep messing with my nose. I have like a sore in there and it's healing and it's like itching. But anyway, I really like this. Um, I think it does a nice um, dewy finish on my skin. I have it on. Um, I think it lasts pretty good throughout the day. The only thing I don't like about it is the, um, the delivery system on it. it you have to kind of, it has like a spatula type thing. And it is kind of runny. So when I pull it out to start putting it on my face, it seems like I always sling it. <laughs> I always go like this and I get foundation different spots on my makeup table. That's the only thing I don't like about it. It's just, I wish it would have been in like a pump as far as that little spatula thing. But I do like it. Um, the smell of it is not too bad. I think the original one, or when it first came out, the original one when it first came out, I think a lot of people said it smelled like paint or something like that, but they have since changed the scent of it. So it doesn't have too bad of an odor. It just has a little bit of an underlying odor, but it's not too bad. But I really do like it. And it was less than $8 at Walgreens, so. I, I do like that, so I wanted to talk about this, and it's a new product. I've only had it for, what, a couple weeks, so I haven't even hauled it yet. But we'll have a haul video coming up here pretty soon also. So, let's talk another product that was new that I bought when I bought this because it was buy one, get one half. Well, you know, you, you can't just walk out with just one product when it's buy one, get one half. You've got to buy another product because you get 50% off of it. So I bought this, which is like a highlighter and blush duo type thing. And it is called the Wet n Wild Highlight Bling in the color mega glow hello halo blush lighter <laughs> that's what it's called <laughs> blush and highlighter duo instantly sculpts and highlights for a full-on strobe effect and anyway i got the one that was kind of like the the peachy color one which is right here um now i have on the highlighting portion of it i don't have the the little blush portion on but I do have the highlighter part on and I really like this highlighter it is so pretty and so glowy I mean if you don't like glow don't get this because you're not gonna like it 
because it makes you glow. It makes you really glowy, which I personally like to glow. I may not need that much glowiness on, you know, my 51 skin, 51 year old skin, but anyway, and then the blush is just a really pretty peach, but it does have a lot of glowiness to it. So I've worn it a few times, not a whole lot, but I do like it. I think it's gonna be really pretty, you know, this summer. But there it is. I mean, I've, I've got other, probably at least 10 blushes that same color with that same glowiness but anyway I mainly bought it because I wanted you know this um, highlighter here I think I had heard Tara babe Tara babies talk about it I think and so I thought well if I can get 50% off of it I'll do it so anyway <laughs> so that's what I bought from Walgreens and have been really enjoying using it the next product I want to talk about, again, is another product that was sent to me from Avon through Optily. And again, is another product from the Face Shop. From It's another Korean beauty product. And this is a lip crayon. It's what I have on my lips. And I absolutely love this product. Oh my stars. I am going to have to go on to Annie's um, e-store and order me a couple other colors of this. This is genius the way that they have the application method of this. Um, gosh, I wish you could see this. But it is the way that this is designed, it is so easy to apply onto the lips. Just perfect. It is just perfect on how I think, I don't think. I think anybody, even you know, a beginner would would not have any problems with um, applicating application with this with the way that this is designed. It's really easy. It's just a crown. Um, it's a mat, but it's a very very comfortable mat. It's not drying to the lips. It actually lasts pretty decent. Um, I haven't had any problems. I mean, of course, it's not going to last. You know through eating, but other than that, it, I don't have any problems with it lasting throughout the day. Um, it has a unique flat and square tip. It's called the Flat Velvet Lipstick. It runs around $12. Um, it's powdery velvet matte finish, visibly smooths fine lines. No, I'm not, I don't, no, I don't know about that. Contains nourishing argon, Caladula, Jehovah, and olive oil. So that's probably why it makes it really kind of comfortable. Tips easily to create a smooth lip line without using a lip brush. Yes, I definitely agree with that. And then there's 10, 10 different shades to choose from. The shade that I have here, let me tell you the shade of this, is called um, London Red, which is the perfect red in my opinion. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Um, lipstick, let's see, uh, the unique flat and square tip on our flat velvet lipstick lines contours and fills lips effortlessly with brilliant color and a velvety finish all in just one stroke. Yep, it does that. It does. Super easy to apply. It does. Love it. Love it. Love it. And like I said, I want to get um, some more colors in this. Definitely have been enjoying that. Like it. Okay, so what else have I been enjoying using <clears throat> that I pulled out? Well, I've been going through my eyeshadow palettes and have been, I've pulled out quite a few of my eyeshadow palettes and have put them on my Macari um, store. Macari is a an app that you can put things on to sell and I have quite a few eyeshadow palettes that I culled out and put on and as I was going through you know pulling things out looking at it what I would do a lot of times was if I was on the fence on something I would pull it out and use it first to see if I really wanted to sell it or if I didn't want to sell it and this was one of the ones that I was kind of on the fence about 
So I pulled it out to use it, and as I started using it, I'm thinking, oh no, I want to keep this. I like this. And this is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. It's how I created my eye look today, with the exception of the um, glitter on the eye. And I'll talk about that here in a minute. But yeah, I have just been really enjoying this eyeshadow palette. And I remember buying it, using it maybe a couple times, and then sticking it in the drawer. And then haven't pulled it out since. And I don't know why. I mean, it came with a, did it come with a brush or an eyeliner? I can't even remember that. But anyway, super easy to use, blends really good. You can create so many different looks with this palette. It is unreal how you can do it. I mean, you can, I think today I used um, these three colors right here to create the eye look that I did today. I've done these three look, these three colors. I've done these three colors. I've done um, these two colors with this. There's just so much you can do with this eyeshadow palette. I don't know if it's still available or not. I don't know. I'm just showing you things that I have been enjoying using that's out of my stash. You may even have this and maybe you haven't pulled it out in a while. But I have just been really enjoying using it. And the brushes that I've been using with it that I have use and actually I use this brush just about every day and this is my Wayne Goss number 19 brush pretty much use this brush for everything I do it first to do my crease work and then once my crease work is done then I dip it into the darker colors to do the outer V so that's why I didn't even clean it this morning because I wanted you to see that Yep, I've been using it. It's the Wayne Gloss number 19. I've washed it. Oh, I clean it every single day because I use it every single day. So I want it to be fresh the next day. So I use my Cinema Secrets um, brush cleaner and use it. And then the other brush that I've been using a lot here lately is from Tom Ford. And it's the number 13 brush. And it's just a, I think it's goat hair. And I've just been using it to, um, once I get everything on, I've just been using it to kind of blend everything together. I've been enjoying it. So those are the two brushes that I've been using for the eyes. Been liking those. Pulled those out. And then some other products that I have been pulling out that I bought them, put them in the drawer, unpacked them, put them in the drawer, and I don't even think I even used them, but maybe once or I don't even know if I use them once or twice. Bought them at the um, Cosmetic Company Outlet Store for MAC. And like I said, maybe use them once or twice. And then, and I've had them for a couple of years. I know these, these particular ones may not be still available, but I know MAC still carries their little um, glitter things. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called. But yeah, I have been really pulling these out and using these. What are these called? I think the one I have on today is this one here. The other pigments. That's it. They're pigments. The MAC pigments. <laughs> the one I have on today is this one that's called um, Warm Snow. And these little vials right here, gosh, I'll never, ever, ever, ever use that up. Ever. But this is the one that I have on um, the lid right in here, right in here. Yeah, so I've been pulling these out to use with this palette because this doesn't have any kind of um, shimmer. It's all matte. So I've just been pulling these out, these little guys, out to use with that. So, and the eyeshadow brush that I've been using to pack that the pigment on to the lid is this one here and this one again is from Tom Ford and it's the number 12 brush. It's what I've been using for it to pack the pigment onto it. And of course I've been using a um, a glitter primer or glitter glue and the one I've been using is from e.l.f. that I just got. That'll be in the haul. 
kind of on the fence on that one, on that glitter glue. And then another product that I've been pulled out that I haven't used in a while. I thought I'm going to pull these out. And this is from Bobbi Brown. And it's my, um, my eyeliners from Bobbi Brown that I haven't used in a while. And it's the Longwear Gel Eyeliners. I pulled those out to be used. And I'm thinking, why well, haven't I been using these? I really, really like these. And um, again, to use this with this palette, I've used Twilight Night shimmer ink i've used this one this week um the chocolate shimmer that one i've used a lot i pulled that one out to use and then this one here violet ink this is the one i have on today this one i've used a ton and the brush that i've been using to use to apply that with is this one here and this is from wayne Goss, and it's the number eight brush and it's just perfect to get in there to put that on it's just stiff enough but not too stiff to get in there to get the the liner and then to apply directly onto that as close to the eyelash as i can get to create the line um, because you know i don't have a whole lot of lid space so i don't want to take up too much of my lid space space with the liner so it's just perfect so that is what I have been um, enjoying for the last, I don't know, couple weeks, I guess. And those are just some of my favorite things. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is this spray here, which is called a facial toner. And this is from Trader's Joe. Trader's Joe. But um, it's the rose water. For hydration and refresh and what I do with this is after I get all of my makeup on I spritz my face and that just kind of helps to tone down all the powder look and just kind of help to meld everything together and I have just been really enjoying using this I know I've the manual factory um, I forget what it's called but I've used tons and tons of bottles of it and it's kind of expensive this was cheaper and I have just enjoyed using it just as much. I'm gonna spritz some on my face. Definitely smells like rose. So if you do not like the smell of rose, don't get this. Don't get it because you're not gonna like it. But if you really like the scent of rose, you will like this. And again, I got that at Trader, Trader Joe's back during the summer and I'm just now starting to really use it. And I really, really do like it very much so. So, okay, so that's gonna wrap up um, some of the stuff that I've been liking that I thought I would just share with you and just kind of get back in touch with you. And, um, I thought this would be a, a good way to get back on here and say hello and hope everyone's been doing well. Um, and everything's been going good with, with you guys. Um, so where have I been? <laughs> I think I've done a couple of videos but not near as much as what I have been doing. And um, whew, I'm a little nervous. Um, 2020 has not been too good to me. Mm -hmm.